what is up guys yo welcome back to another episode of sweetie man yo if you're new to this channel my name is x and you're watching the sweetie man but anyways guys so uh, right now i'm currently sitting in my uh in my 2014 audi rs5 um i did a video of what five things i love about this car and here goes another reason what i don't love about this car i'm just gonna like put this on quiet actually nah fuck it let's leave that on sport mode it's actually great i love hearing the exhaust and the downshifts but anyways this video ain't about uh what i love it's about what i i don't like about this car there's not that much to be honest with you um what not to love about this car um but anyways without further ado let's start with the first reason what i don't love about this car it's pretty much it's very simple it's super heavy um i'm gonna just put the windows down yeah, like I said, it's super heavy. This car is about 4,500 pounds, um, which that's comparing to its competitor. That is not, that's not like, that is super heavy. But uh, yeah, but it actually moves though. Like this car is like a freaking boat on land. That's, that's pretty much how you can define this car, to be honest with you. Um, the newer models are actually lighter, more nimble. Um, but this is the last, pretty much, the last natural rated V8. Cars don't come, I mean, you don't see no more natural rated uh, cars anymore. Even Lamborghinis, they might stop making um, those nice sounding V10s engine, but uh, the V12s and all that stuff, um, yeah. All right, so reason number two, what I hate about this car is uh, the sunroof. So as you can see, up above the sunroof does it's like it's a sunroof but the only thing is it only tilts right so i'm gonna do a demonstration that's how far it goes but the newer models they actually goes all the way back but hey it's not a deal breaker uh for you not to get this car uh it's still a very great car comfortably like you know you can daily drive you can daily this car like all you want comparing to the r8 I mean, the R8 is the only super car you can actually daily, which is pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. <coughs> so I don't. That's what I don't like about this. Um, now the other reason is the gas mileage. This car is gonna like eat your wallet up for sure. It's definitely gonna eat up your wallet. So if you like stingy, like you know, with your gas and stuff, um, this is not a car for you. Like. I mean, it's better than the Mercedes. Um, I'm not sure about the BMWs, but for sure Mercedes. Um, like, obviously the class that this car is competing with, um, it's better than its competitor, for sure. So, for gas mileage, yeah, no bueno at all. No bueno. Like, I'll take this car downtown. Like, if I want to go downtown, let's say I have to go downtown every day for one week, right? I'm probably gonna fill up the car, I'll say probably two or three times in that same week uh, to go downtown. And that's a fact. That is a fact. All right. So yeah, that's that. So another reason what I hate about this car is freaking, it has so much electronic, like during winter time um, when it's very cold, um, this car really sucks when it comes to the electronic parts um, Your backup camera is gonna start having problems um, All the electrical stuff like you know The issues I've had so far is with the backup camera, right? It sucks During winter like once it gets super cold it just froze like it doesn't turn on or whatever like it comes on and then it just goes away um I got it checked at the uh, Audi dealership and they couldn't find any reason uh, what's wrong with the car and all that stuff. So definitely um, watch out for that electronics. You're gonna have a lot of problems uh, with the electronics. So be aware, but doesn't mean you shouldn't get this car once again, even though every car comes with a problem, right? Um, this shouldn't be a reason why you do not want to get this car for sure so yeah just you know watch out for that you know all right
say no leads um the exhaust i mean it sounds good comparing to a bmw um in the same class and in, in the you know the same year um it's okay so my only suggestion i'll ask you guys to well, let you, you know what you need to do is pretty much do a resonator delete and you're gonna get that you know that raw v8 that natural speed of v8 sounds you're gonna get that so it's pretty much sound like a straight pipe but without you losing you know the option to quiet it down as you chose you know what i'm saying so like you should definitely um you get this car definitely want to do a resonator delete for sure um that should be like you your number one like if you don't have the money to spend on an exhaust system which that's in my case um do a resonator delete and trust me you won't regret it that's a fact so definitely do that and yeah and the last reason why i don't love uh, i don't i don't like this car i mean it's just it's pity but um the lot the launch control so the launch control actually we're coming up to a tunnel so let me downshift this and if i love it Anyways, yeah, so the last reason why I don't love about this car is like I said, is the launch, the launch control. Um, I mean, it takes time for you to get used to it. I'm still getting used to the launch control. I ain't like a professional yet. I know that stuff with the launch control, but beside that, this car's a wonderful car, yo. Like, yo, if you really trying to cop one of these beasts, you should definitely go for it. Like, dead ass, you should go for it. I'll definitely recommend you guys going for this car for sure. Um, you have the money. And like I said, now the prices are going down on this car. So um, it's going to go back up because this car doesn't really lose its value compared to um, the C63 or the BMW. So you should definitely go for it. And this car's on all wheel drive. So very good for winter. Just make sure you have snow tires on it. And you'll be blessed. Dead ass. So yeah. I hope you guys, you know, this video was informative. Um, I hope, you know, you guys make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and more to come. Alright? Yalla.